Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. Happy Thursday. Uh, it's a little bit later in the day. Sherry and I are both done with work today, kind of planning out our evening. Uh, I will say Sherry's not feeling super great, so I'm not sure how much she's gonna be in this video. Give you an update on her a little bit later. A uh, Couple other things I wanna update you on. Gotta tell you all about our summer ween last night. And some of you who didn't see the last vlog may be like, what word did Adam just say? Uh, basically, Summer Ween's a made-up holiday that is just an excuse to get together with our friends and celebrate the fact that we are three months away uh, from Halloween. It was so much fun, and I'll show you guys some photos a little bit later. Uh, tonight, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and do some shopping so Sherry has everything she needs while I'm gone. Wanna set her up really well um, for my week away. Then, I need to pull out a suitcase and start packing. I leave late tomorrow night to go back to Washington, D.C., and so that is kind of the evening plan. Uh, update you on stuff, go shopping, start packing, all of that fun stuff. First, first thing, we're gonna go to the grocery store. All right, so I talked to Sherry about things that she would like to have on hand while I am gone. Um, we've talked about this before when I leave. Uh, she is obviously fully capable of going shopping, doing all this stuff herself, but I feel bad for uh, always leaving or leaving a lot for work. And so I just like to make life as easy as possible for her as I can um, while I'm gone. So doing some shopping uh, for her, got the list of things that she would like to have in the house. So I'm gonna go get that. I also think this might be a harder trip than normal. Um, you know, we got Missy, our cat who recently passed on um, 16 years ago. And one of the main reasons we got her is that that was a time in our marriage when I was traveling a lot for work. I was gone a lot. And Sherry wanted something else in the house that was alive. Just like something to be there with her while I was gone. Something to, you know, lay in her lap and cuddle and watch movies while Sherry read books. That kind of stuff, right? And so Missy has always been Sherry's companion while I'm away. The the sweet little kitten who who um, kind of occupied Sherry's attention in my absence. And this is my first trip leaving uh, since Missy's passing. And so Sherry's been talking about how um, she expects the kind of emptiness of the house to feel um, maybe more amplified or more real on this trip. Because I'm gone and Missy's gone as well. So trying to especially make this trip um, easier, as easy as I possibly can on Sherry and shopping and food, groceries, all that kind of stuff is just one small thing I can do. So let's go do it. Grocery shopping, here we go. All right, first thing Sherry has on the list are baby carrots. So getting a pack of those. And she wanted celery, so I'm getting some of these celery stalks as well. We are also almost out of our laundry detergent, so getting more of those. What do you guys think? Does Sherry need a giant inflatable orca whale while I'm gone? Maybe? We are also almost out of peanut butter, and you can't run out of peanut butter. I think we are going Jif Creamy. All right, now something I cannot support, but I love Sherry, so I'm gonna get it. Uh, frozen peas. She loves adding these to her mac and cheese when I'm gone. I think that sounds horrible, but she wants it, so we're gonna get it. Who in the world adds peas to mac and cheese? And this wasn't on her list, but um, who doesn't want dino nuggets? That was a success. All right, I'm back home. I got everything put away in the kitchen. Uh, Sherry Beth is, is here in bed. Sherry got you everything you asked for on your list, plus one item. I said to myself, I said, you know, <laughs> Sherry doesn't feel well. What has the most healing power of any food item in the world? The answer, dino nuggets. <laughs> That's true. Everybody knows, dinosaur shaped chicken has special magical healing powers. So I got you that. You're welcome. Um, Sherry's having not like sick flu kind of day or sick cold kind of day. Uh, we think it's just like an EDS and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome kind of day where joints hurt, body hurt. She's just in a lot of pain. So taking it easy yeah. and resting. Personally, I think it was just a way to get me to get her dino nuggets. <laughs> I didn't even ask for them. You didn't ask for them, that's true. <laughs> so I guess that's a good point. All right, so I need to, well, I think I need to get a suitcase and start packing. Okay, so I do have to show you guys this. Our friends, the Hansons, sent us this. 
You guys, it's Missy. It even has Missy's like white scarf. It even has her little white socks she wore. Isn't that so cute? All right, a little bit of an audible on what the plan was for tonight. Um, as the evening has gone on, Sherry has continued to feel worse. So she's in bed and she is going to go to sleep and get some rest. So since all of my clothes obviously are in our room and I would be packing in there, uh, I've decided that I'm going to hold off on my packing for the trip until tomorrow and I can pack during the day and she can get rest tonight. That's much more important than me packing a day in advance. So Sherry's going to hopefully, fingers crossed, get some rest. My hope is that she wakes up tomorrow feeling better. Um, I hate, well, I hate leaving and her being here alone and then I especially hate leaving when she's not feeling well. So hoping she wakes up feeling better tomorrow and that a good night's sleep helps that. Um, now for my evening, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I got dishes done. Uh, all of, well, the last load of laundry is in the washing machine, which is great. Uh, I watered some of the plants earlier. I'm trying to think of like what stuff needs to be done over the next week. And I feel like, I feel like most of it's done, which is honestly like a great feeling. Um, but now what to do tonight? All right, I'm heading back to the store. Um, I didn't forget anything earlier, but there were some things that uh, I didn't have on the list. But as Sherry has kind of gotten worse throughout the day, um, I wanted to get things like saltine crackers, uh, Sprite, bananas. Uh, we were messaging with our friend Janice, actually uh, Janice Hansen, who uh, her and her family sent the little Missy that you guys just saw. And we we're talking about kind of Sherry kind of progression throughout the day. And it started with like aches and pains, which is, is common for Sherry's EDS. So that's what we thought it was. And then there's like nausea and it's like, well, it could be uh, from an injection, like medication. And then it's this, so it could be from this. And we were talking about how uh, with rare disease, um, it's like a game of whack-a-mole. Like you, you just don't know what it is. And so it's like, maybe it's this smack, maybe it's this smack, maybe it's this smack. And then it's like, Oh, also maybe it's like the flu or maybe it's just like a sickness smack. And so, uh, throughout the day we thought it was one thing. Now that the day is progressing, we think it's another. So this has turned into largely a taking care of Sherry vlog, which fortunately is one of my very favorite, <laughs> very favorite things to do. Uh, I'm an Enneagram two which is a helper if you've ever taken the Enneagram test. And I love taking care of people and I love taking care of my person. Um, I wish she wasn't sick, wish she felt better, but hopefully these things I'm going to the store to get her will help her feel better. And here's the thing, it gets me out of the house, it gives me something to do, which is good since it's still early. Well, it is like 8.30, so it's not terribly early, but all right, off the store we go. And since I just was grocery shopping, I wanted to switch it up a little bit and I came to Fred and Meyer this time. Well, that was, that was a lot when it comes to shopping trips. Um, I was just like, okay, what do I think would make Sherry feel better? And I ended up buying so many more things. Um, I, <laughs> I went there for Sprite bananas um, and saltine crackers. As soon as I get home, I'll show you what I bought. You know how they tell you that you shouldn't go shopping when you're hungry because you end up buying more stuff than you need? Um, they should also tell you that you should not go shopping when you're guilty because you will do the same thing. So I went there for salting crackers, check. Bananas, check. <sighs> Sprite, check. And then I was like, yeah, but like, what if, what if she needs more? Like, what, what if there's more things she needs? And so then I was like, well, what do I know that Sherry likes when she's sick? I was like, oh, you know what? I know she likes apple juice. So I got her some apple juice. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? Another thing that Sherry really likes is miso soup. So I got her some miso soup. And then I was like, well, there's not a lot of consistency in miso soup, but Sherry's not a big chicken noodle soup fan, but she is a big like cup o noodle, like chicken cup o noodle fan. I was like, oh, I should get her one of those. And then I was like, well, what about this thing that I saw? It's like, a little double noodle, like it's double noodle chicken soup and it's got cute little crackers, like goldfish kind of crackers on top. And so, I got that as well. So never go shopping when you're hungry and never go shopping when you feel guilty. All right, I am switching the laundry, taking out one load and then I've got a little bit of stuff 
in there. Uh, just trying to make sure that like all of Sherry's bedding is washed, that all the sheets are clean, that kind of stuff. So just keeping laundry, keeping laundry going. You can see there's like barely anything in that load, but I thought, well, let's just get it all clean so that it's done. All right, now I'm just kind of putting some stuff away, doing some organizing. Um, this is all beard oil stuff. So these are actually bottles of beard oil that are ready to be sold. Um, I just did not have time to get the website finished before my DC trip. So I'll get that all like on the website and listed when I get home. It's also ready for like a market when I do another one of those. So I'm just kind of finding space for stuff. This has just sort of been floating ever since we did that market in Trapper Creek a couple weeks ago. And I have this as well, which is, this is like, well, I don't know what this is. Oh, there's my portable charger. That's hilarious, I need that. Um, <laughs> this is booth stuff. So like the hats are in there, a lot of the display pieces are in there. So this is also going to go up there. But then I have to figure out what to do with this, because this is a box that was up there. Now, I think this is super cool. Sherry is amazing, we all know that. And she saves, like the handouts, the programs, from almost everything we go do. So, Broadway Play of Six, White Christmas, Come From Away, Hamilton, Jersey Boys. I mean, there is just like so much stuff in there. Chicago, um, what is, like, The Sound of Music. Little Mermaid, an Ash Wednesday service. Like, what? This is the Little Mermaid at the high school I went to. We went and saw that. Aladdin at the high school we went to. This is fun. Some of you will love this. So this is from when Sherry and I went and saw Taylor Swift's Red Tour. We have our tickets right there. And we also have a piece of the heart-shaped confetti. This was like the Red Tour program. Look at that. Some of y'all are talking about Taylor Swift fans for the Eras Tour. Come on, this is this is old school. We saw the Red Tour, we saw 1989. Ugh, I really do want to see the Eras Tour. Maybe someday we'll add that to this. Um, this is from a Seahawks game we went to. When was this? 2008? So this, yeah, how amazing is this, you guys? 2008. And eight. I think this was Sherry's first Seahawks game. That actually makes sense. Sherry's first Seahawks game. Um, then we're going back to like, look at some of the stuff. Beating the Beast. Oh, Potted Potter. That's hilarious because this is a show that we're going to see again next year. Apparently we got the official program for it. Peter Pan. Les Mis. Million Dollar Quartet. Oh gosh. This is when we went and saw the Broadway play of Once. The movie Once is one of my all-time favorite movies. And I, oh my God, I saw this. I think we saw this in Tampa, actually, which is random. Also, I fully know this video has gotten different because the plan was packing vlog, get ready, shopping, that kind of stuff. Well, that's not happening. And so I started organizing. And as I started organizing and like getting stuff done around the house, I stumbled upon this. So now, so now you are getting a walk through our program book. Or, not book, box. Look at this, self-guided tour to the Grotto, which is in Portland, Oregon. One of, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in Portland. Uh, oh, there's the center bill for once. The Seahawks game day. There you go, September 21st, 2008. The Seahawks game day program. See, this is like, I love that Sherry saves this stuff. What is this? Oh, look at that. Decorative stickers for your face. Ah, oh, it's just the best. And what's, you know what's funny is that I'm always like, are you sure you wanna save all this? And I'm kinda like, we can just throw it away, we don't need it. But moments like this, I'm so thankful that Sherry saves this. Uh, Anchorage Symphony Orchestra, 2010, 2011 concert season. Uh, West Side Story from the 2013, 2014 season. Goodness gracious, you guys. Oh, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. The Broadway Tour of Memphis. Um, wait, what is this? Oh, there's our tickets to Memphis. Dream Girls. Lion King. Shrek, this is hilarious. Oh, the Broadway tour of Beauty and the Beast. Apparently we bought the, like, collector's program for that. 
There's something else in there. I'm trying to see what it is. Oh, just like the normal season program. Oh my gosh, Avenue Q. That was inappropriate and amazing. Mamma Mia. Phantom. Oh, Phantom. The Wizard of Oz. Monty Python Spamalot. <sighs> Cats. Mungo, Jerry, and Rum. Teaser. I don't even know if those are the words. And then look at this. This is the collector's program from when we saw The Lion King. Look how awesome this is. Oh, gosh. Sherry, thank you for saving all this stuff. I have not looked through this box in... Actually, you know what? I've never looked through this box. I've known that it was up there. And it's the kind of thing that every now and then Sherry will just randomly get down to put stuff away. Like when we get new, new like concert programs and stuff, but I've never looked through this. Um, there were things in there that I didn't remember we got. Uh, I didn't know that we bought the collector's program of the Lion King. I did not know that she saved the tickets from the very first Seahawks game that she ever went to with me. So I've been going to Seahawks games for, for a while. And this game, September 21st, uh, 2008, was our anniversary weekend. Uh, we were in Seattle for our third anniversary weekend, I believe. And we went to the game together and she saved the tickets. She's the best. You know that? She really is the best. But this was so fun. It was like a walk down memory lane. I actually would like to go through, oh, what is these? I just found more tickets, to Cinderella. I would actually like to go through this with her when she's feeling better, because if I walked up there right now and was like, hey, Sherry, let's go through this, she might punch me in my face. Rightfully so. Um, but I loved going through this. Like, I don't know that I have ever looked at this. The Taylor Swift Red Tour, collectible, there's like, handouts in there like what is this get your exclusive tour keds keds the shoe company was apparently a sponsor of the red tour oh my gosh this is the best this is absolutely the best all right the closet project is finished now that wasn't really on my list for tonight but I wanted to put my beard oil stuff away, and in order to put my beard oil stuff away, I had to find space for other things. You ever do that where it's like, to put this away means I need to do these three other things? So it's done, and that's what matters. Uh, I had a ton of fun going through that box of old programs. Um, I wish Sherry would have been there to go through it with me, but that is the kind of thing that we can do when she is feeling better, uh, maybe when I'm back home. I can tell that she's not feeling well. You know, Sherry is the kind of person who, uh, she is literally one of the strongest people that I know. Um, her daily pain, just like normal life, just existing, would probably be like a six or seven on the pain scale for me. And that's like her baseline, that's her normal. Uh, I don't know what that's like, you know? And so she is the kind of person that deals with just so much normally that when it is visibly affecting her, I know that it's bad. You know what I mean? Because like normally it's just, uh, she's gotten so good at just dealing with it, going through life, moving on, trying to not let it be a, a hindrance to her. Um, but then when something starts to actually affect her, uh, I know that it's, uh, I know that it's actually bad because that is totally not her. Um, so I'm super bummed with how she's feeling. I'm really, really hoping that she, uh, wakes up tomorrow feeling better. Uh, and maybe I will, maybe I will pull out that box of programs and leave it by her chair when I leave and, uh, she can go through it while I'm gone and, and have those same memories that I just had because it was just so freaking cool. That's like the Taylor Swift, the Lion King, all of those shows. Can you believe the shows that we've gotten to see? And we live in Alaska. And there were a lot of shows that weren't even in there. I don't remember seeing a Newsies program. I don't remember seeing a Wicked program. Um, I don't remember trying to think of other shows we've seen. There were a lot of others that I don't remember seeing. So that was just the highlights or the ones that we actually saved programs from. Well, no. Not we. Sherry actually saved programs from. Um, and what's funny is I actually think we have a couple programs on our stairs still from shows this season that need to go in that box. I didn't think about that till just now.
Hmm. Um, anyways, let's talk about Summerween because um, that was something that we did that was amazing. I want to put up a couple of photos now. Uh, we had it outside in a friend's yard and there were basically Halloween decorations. They had uh, not pumpkins carved, but watermelons carved. We had hot dogs, we had reindeer dogs, we had all sorts of food, all sorts of snacks and drinks and punch. And um, we didn't dress up in costumes. Instead, we all dressed up in colors, like a specific color. And then you brought a snack that matched that color. So it was just like a lot of fun. Uh, we hung out in the yard, we listened to music, we laughed just so very much it was um it was a really fun night with friends the sun was shining it was a beautiful alaskan evening um one of those midweek events that just uh you know you get home and your heart is just so full you got to spend time with people that that you love and that love you just having just having absolutely the most fun um i do want to ask you guys a question though so i'm leaving as you're watching this vlog, I'm leaving in a matter of hours to go to Washington, D.C. Um, I'll be there for work, obviously. However, I will have some free time. And so I want to get out and do some stuff. Now, I've been to D.C. a couple times, a few times before. And I've done uh, a lot of the D.C. stuff. But uh, I want to know if you have any hidden D.C. gems. Are there any things that when you think about your time in D.C., your trips, whether it's a restaurant, a bar, a museum, an activity, a thing to see, uh, let me know what that is. I have held up buying tickets or like making any firm plans just because I think I want to see how heavy um, my work stuff is. You know, I would, I would love to go back to the Holocaust Museum. It is, in my opinion, one of the most eye-opening uh, things that I've ever done in my life. And I was much younger when I went, and I don't even know that I fully appreciated it or felt the weight of it. And so I'd love to go back to that. But my thing is, like, if my work stuff is super heavy, talking about human trafficking all day long, and I am just mentally beat up, I might not want to go do that. You know what I mean? And so I'm trying to think of like other things that I could do, other museums to see, other like hidden hole in the wall things. I won't have a car this trip, I don't think at least. Uh, so a lot of it will just be Uber or taxis or the Metro. I'm staying at a place close to a Metro station. So um, you guys are travel experts as well. And if you have been to DC and you have any insider tips, I would absolutely love for you to share this with me. That would just mean the world. So I'm going to end this, you guys. I called an audible today so that Sherry Beth could get the rest that she needs. And fingers crossed, she wakes up tomorrow feeling so, so much better. Friends, we love you so much. And we will see you on the next Lug Life video.